Today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. Maybe 12 here. I have continued. I was thinking before first to blast with dry eyes and then deal with the covers. But you're not going to come today with dry eyes. So I need to move on with this engine. Yep. After all, I'm going to blast it from this side and down, like I said, not up. And I'm, I'm continuing, I'm moving on. I haven't cleaned. This is the path for the secondary injection, all right? And you see that it has gases. And it fell also one piece here on the cooling path. Here I have to bring the vacuum cleaner and I have to clean it, sucking from one side and from the other side cleaning it to don't fail anything here inside. I don't want to, to be contaminated, the coolant after all. Then I remove the water pump. I have removed the thermostat assembly. I remove also this cover from this side. <coughs> Later on this side, this, this side, the bank two. Yeah, let's start from the bank one. Now, that's the parts that I have removed. Water pump here. I don't see the impeller of the pump to touch here or inside. I don't see any problem with the water pump other than it's dirty. The seal goes out. I have changed the cranks of front seal. I put a new one and I put the cover just in case to be protected. Uh, then the cover, like I said, okay, the flap that has inside, and all these things need to be washed, need to be cleaned. So don't have carbon. Uh, thermostat housing, thermostat, damper pulley. The bolts for the water pump, uh, I'm gonna replace them because I'm gonna show you now why. These bolts here, they are not, it's not smart. It's not smart to use them again. This one, it's okay, but you know, it's gonna make sense to change all the, all the bolts to put a new one to don't have these kind of things. This is gone, this, forget it. I'm gonna change the water pump uh, bolts for a peace of mind. What else? Nothing. Uh, I prepare also the hydraulic pump I just wipe it, dry clean, external. All right, it's not perfect, but it's much more decent than before. It's not full of oil. Right, the intercoolers I already show you. The floor is disaster down. Take a look at the mess I have done. After all, I haven't cleaned the floor. Yeah, all right. Fine, fine. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Preparing these parts. Put it back. Then come from this side. Prepare also this cover front. And then the cover's up, right? Yeah. Need to change also the seal for the... I think that I have it, I ordered it. I remember that whatever had the thermostat housing, I ordered all the seals. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out when it comes to time. Looks a little bit crunchy. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's start working on it. Bolts for the water pump, need to order. Yeah. All right. And no, before I start washing, let me clean this area, bring the vacuum cleaner, I clean also that, and then I'll go and continue with the rest. Cleaning the surface, nice. I can continue going to clean the rest of the parts now. Keep it there. I prepare the parts. I don't care about the little bit of black smoke here. After all, the secondary injection valve is not working, it does have catalytic converters. I put the new seals here. All right, the water pump over there. I don't have a seal for the water pump. <laughs> I don't have the seal. I don't have also this seal. I have this seal, this o-ring. I'll dress it, I'll put it in place. All right. Yeah. L let me close the cover. I'm gonna put the cover back. To close here. And then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'll go and continue. Hmm? Now, the secondary injection valve with the cover back in place, sealed with the new seals. All right, then. These are the three seals that I don't have. This is for the water pump. 
All right, and this too, it's for the thermostat housing. I have the O-ring for the thermostat cover for this one. It's this one, all right. And this is the O-ring for the coolant temperature sensor. I need to throw this out. I'm talking about that type of coolant temperature sensor. So these three, are, these three things, are the four things, sorry. I'm gonna throw it out. That's what's remaining. Here I have the brackets for the turbochargers. It does have a rust anymore, all right? Nice and clean, but it's not zinc coated. It's not galvanized. It's not been painted. It's bare metal, what you see, all right? There is no paint at all on none of the, those brackets, all right? What need to be done here? If you are asking me, I have to ask the owner if he wants to do it. Why? Because the, the idea is high temperature color spray, silver, to, to paint it, to protect it from any rust. Because if I leave it like that, yes, it looks nice, but after one week on the car, it's not going to be nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, next step. Next step, I can continue with the cover and the uh, campus sensor o-ring. That's the plan. Let me take out the cover. Since I finished from this one, I'm gonna finish from this side, and then I'm gonna start from this side, from the bank too. All right. The water pump, what I'm planning to do, I'm gonna put a rug here and another one rug here. I'm gonna come here with dry ice to remove any dirt from the groove. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice and I have also plenty of access down here to blast it. This is the plastic seal. I might put also some masking tape on top. Yep. Yep. What else? I, need, I have to remove also the sealant. It has some sealant here and there. All this all gonna disappear. I'm not gonna keep it there. Alright. Fine, fine, fine. All right. Dang it, I have to go to check one Z class outside. That's, uh, that's what he said, Omar. I might take a break from this engine. These are the remaining bolts from the water pump. But like I said, I ordered new ones. Yep. Yeah. Moving on. The engine from inside from up at least it looks beautiful like down when I open it it's looking amazing that's a good one now the cover I have here the campus sensor that I changed the o-ring that's the new one that's the old one goes outside and I have the cover I'm going to wash the cover and bring it in to put the new seal and close it. Cylinder head cover bank one done from washing it. I, I haven't sanded it, I haven't made nothing, it's just only washing to become nice and clean. All right, and I have to go out again and I have to wash again. Why? Magnesium, right? Yeah. Classic. Yeah, what you're expecting, right? Now, also, this one looks. Yeah. There was threads here once upon a time. Let's put two helicoil. I don't have enough helicoil. I need to order a helicoil. M6. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, make it three. Taking it outside, drilling, tapping, installing the helical oil, and then bring it again inside. We don't have any metallic savings flying away, flying around. Cylinder head cover back in place. One helical oil is here, another one is here. I put another one here, and I prepare this one. Why I didn't put the helicoil here? Because I have that's my last one. 
I'm waiting for a heel coil. When it comes, I'll go to it. The rest threads are okay. It's the many other three. One, two, three from here. Oh, you can tell me why you didn't dress all of them. Yeah. Good question. From this side, we can see from this side. This definitely need. Hmm. We are looking for at least one from this side. All right, now, 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 then, after, yeah. I need also these seals. I don't have these seals. For now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it upside down. I'm gonna put back in place with the Vaseline. All right, because I don't want to have the ends in open. Don't want to be contaminated by any means. And that's what I'm going to do. And after that, continue with the other bank. That's the plan. Again, there is nothing wrong. I can paint it if the owner wants. For me, I prefer to keep it unpainted. But that's me. Let's move on. And here we go again. I changed the seals. I resealed the cover front. I changed the seals for that. Done. Also, this side looks nice and clean like the other side. It didn't have any crack here, the centrifugal for the oil separator. Everything looks beautiful. Cover, I wash it, and we have helicoil number one here. One. Two. Three. Three, 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 four. Five. <laughs> oh, this is okay, this is okay, this is okay. Five hell coil, also here. Nice, lovely. Uh, from this side, they brought me and I already installed the heli coil also from this side. So this side is done. Let's put the heli coil now also on this side. They brought me three pieces. Now they're gonna bring also the remaining 12. They had 15 all in all. I ordered 50. The, ah, yeah, campus sensor here with a new seal, the new o-ring, the old one's out, all right, fine. I'm going to drill, tap it, and prepare it, because I have only three helicoil until I arrive the rest, and then the rest I can install it while it's on the engine, no problem. That's it for today. Seal the head cover back in place, all right. They brought me also the heli coil. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Finish. Lovely. The campus sensor back in place. Now for the rest, I'm waiting for the dry ice. Yeah, I need dry ice to continue. And then I need also the high temperature color spray. For these brackets, yeah. the o-ring like I said before, uh, for the water pump, for the thermostat housing, yeah, I need a couple of things. And still I'm seeing now how many days that I have to find the part number for the gasket, and I haven't checked for it. Alright, fine. That's it, wrapping it up for today. Wrapping it up. Uh, I supposed to love the valves also. I didn't love the valves. Nice, 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 nice. I haven't even touched also the turbo chargers, and I don't want to touch the turbo chargers. That's a different story. Okay, finish. Thank you very much. Over and out.